Evolving Spark Network is, a, is an installation, an interactive installation that uses uh, electrical sparks both for the sound production and for the for light production. Uh, so it means they actually uh, are that strong that they really produce a stroboscopic flash and at the same time uh, they are sonically that loud that they really uh, yeah, produce a, a considerable, impu uh, considerable impulse uh, comparable to, uh, to a loud clapping in the hands. The installation is a network of, of these spark bridges above the audience and here in V2 it will be uh, will have a height of approximately four and a half meters. Uh, it traverses the whole space so it's not let's say an installation just in a space but you could say that the space transforms completely by the, by the installation. So the installation uh, it creates a whole new environment in there, an environment that uh, the audience has to relate, it, relate itself to, it's interactive, but it's also generative, so in a sense it will keep on functioning, but the audience can really initiate and put energy into the network of spark bridges. What is happening, there are all different kinds of patterns, the patterns are changing and evolving, uh, but in a sense uh, each spark bridge in the space is communicating to its neighbors, and like that there can be all different kinds of patterns it, uh, originating from one place and then traveling through the space in different directions with different uh, behavior and they, they could also be reflecting, so reflecting at the end of the space and coming back uh, to the visitor. Uh, the V2 space is size-wise an ideal space uh, because it's, it ha really has a considerable size and that means that uh, you as a member in the audience uh, has quite a distance to other people in the audience and that's very nice because that creates uh, the installation then creates the possibility to communicate with each other through the installation itself. You hear all these different sounding patterns but visually it's also transforming all the time because for example if I will be standing here and the spark bridge is behind me uh, I will be dark but you see light behind me but at the moment there's a flash in front of me all of a sudden I'm lit from the front uh, which gives a completely different perspective. It could also be from the side, so you actually see all the time a very dynamic uh, uh, changing uh, light environment too. In a sense, the installation is strongly related to pneumatic sound field, a work that I exhibited at DEF uh, 07, or during DEF 07 at the Boy Mosman Benningen Museum. Uh, that piece is also a grid above the audience, in, this, in that case a grid of pneumatic valves. And there I used the, the compressed air, including the valves, uh, to produce sound. So I learned and got a lot of experience of working with sound in such a way. And uh, I learned how to deal with it. And actually there in that installation there's no visual aspect except for the construction being there. Uh, it is possible to really uh, create a completely new space within the existing space. Uh, so really only by means of sound you can transform the space uh, drastically. Um, but where there it's more, I work more with compositions and where I work with a hierarchical control of a system that controls the valves, here I work more with uh, you could say an autonomous uh, system where each cell, uh, in this case each spark bridge, bridge um, is communicating to its neighbors. So Content-wise it's very different, uh, it's also an interactive piece which also makes it very different. So although you could say the setup is very comparable, at the same time I challenge myself uh, to deal with content in a completely different way. It made me think, or yeah, I, I simply working with this made me think again about how uh, cells uh, in our body communicate with each other. Sometimes I really like to think about space as a body. So. Uh, how, how does that work? The space as a body or the body as a space could be the, the other way around. Mm -hmm. yeah, uh, so here you can say that it's more the space as a body than the body as a space, but these are interesting metaphors for me. And um, so I've been studying also uh, algorithms for uh, learning of networks, for uh, how networks communicate, what uh, what signals do propagate and continue within the network and what uh, stops. And I've used this uh, as a way to uh, create different uh, textures, different patterns uh, within the network.